Hi, Chad here with Concrete Floor Supply, and this is another Whiteboard Wednesday, and it's going to be a simple one today, and what we want to talk to you about is concrete surface profiles, um, better known as CSP. Now, I don't want to get into the exact details of that because there's some different criteria for uh, uh, surface profiles and concrete surface profiles outlined by ICRI, I-C-R-I, International Concrete Repair Institute, which you could further look up. But what we want to do is talk about profiles for a stained concrete floor, and profiles needed for an epoxy. And so for the point of this conversation, we're going to say stained concrete floors are done with an acid or a water-based type stain, and epoxies are 100% solids and this would be like a flake system or a metallic or just a regular colored type epoxy coating so we can speak the same language so we see a lot of people that ignore surface profile and if you ignore surface profile you could potentially end up with a problem floor and really where we see floor failures in the industry, it's typically always because surface profiles or prep work has been um, ignored or, you know, there just wasn't enough knowledge. So here we are today. So for a stained concrete floor, many people go over these floors with a single component acrylic sealer. Um, so acrylics, easy to apply sealers look great, they do perform really decent, um, and probably the most common for stains. So the kind of profile you need for that floor is what I'll coin the term as a hairline type profile. So when you look at the floor, the concrete floor, you want to be able to look at it and it looks like tiny hairs are etched in the floor and this is done by diamond tooling so to create that hairline profile you're going to need between a 120 grit metal to let's say a 50 grit resin in that type of profile so those create the scratch pattern you need for your acrylic to be able to adhere very well but also more importantly after you apply that acrylic, you don't see the scratch. Too big of a scratch, you'll apply the clear coat and you'll still see the scratch underneath the clear coat and it's just an undesirable look, although it'll still perform. So to get that, um, we have a Tornado satellite pad. Very easy to use underneath a buffer. Um, have them in 30 and 50 grit great easy to use tool we also have various metal bond tools from various grinders that can create that 120 grit scratch so remember stained concrete floor hairline type profile now epoxies um, they're typically two coat type systems uh, a little bit more mill thickness than an acrylic quite a bit more actually um, and so you want more of a profile for that floor because they're just a beefier, thicker floor. So we'll call this, I've always called it a fork, like a fork-like profile. So when you look at it, it looks like somebody took a dinner fork and kind of gouged the floor. Um, and now how deep is this? Uh, you can feel it with your fingernail. So it's not like as deep as broom finished. Um, but but it can be and that and that would be fine but just kind of more like a fork or a bigger girthier scratch on the floor and to to get this profile um, you would use a 30 grit metal bond tool so you can even use like a 16 to 30 grit metal bond tool underneath the concrete grinder and again we have these tools um, we, we like the arrow segments and they're basically a, a diamond tool about the shape I'm drawing here that has arrows on it that create a nice little profile in the floor. So 
this is the whiteboard Wednesday for this Wednesday, and I think it's very important for people to realize that that, that prep and longevity go hand in hand, and we see it ignored, and it, it always comes back back to prep and cleaning. Um, the other part, to be honest with you, is pretty much easy. Um, so stained floors, you need a hairline type profile. Epoxy floors, you need a fork like profile in the floor. Thanks, that's Chad from another Whiteboard Wednesday.